It's spring, that special time of year when gardening tips and tricks are passed around like hotcakes. It's peak season for posts about natural weed killers that are safer and cheaper than Roundup. They usually go something like this. One gallon of vinegar, two cups of Epsom salt, and a quarter cup of Dawn dish soap. Chemical free weed killer. First, if you're thinking that this home brewed herbicide is chemical free, you're gonna have a really hard time with this next bit. Acetic acid, magnesium sulfate, sulfuric acid, ethanol, and amine oxides are just a handful of the chemicals in that home brewed chemical free concoction. There are hard to say chemicals in everything we touch, everything we eat, everything we are. And I know this sounds saccharine and hollow given all the recent news that glyphosate causes cancer, and we could circle the conversational drain while I lay waste to the logic behind that claim. But for the sake of argument and conversation, let's just say I fully accept that that's true. The International Agency for Research on Cancer has ruled that glyphosate is a class 2A carcinogen. Let's say I agree. Well, what the hell does 2A even mean? Should we check out what else is in that category? I mean, it follows logically that if we are nixing glyphosate because it's gonna give us all cancer, anything else in that category should be up for termination too, right? According to the International Agency for Research on Cancer's exact same rules, we have to ban fires too. Wood smoke is a class 2A carcinogen. Thanks a lot, Monsanto. And red meat, Ugh, more like dead meat, class 2A. You might as well be eating a Roundup burger. Hot water is in hot water too. It's a class 2A carcinogen. And if you're a hairdresser, you need to resign immediately. The IARC says your whole profession is as likely to cause cancer as Roundup is. In fact, the IARC says all shift work is a class 2A carcinogen. So a class action lawsuit against a 40 hour work week, anyone? Anyone? Because the people who say glyphosate causes cancer say all of these things are just as likely to cause cancer. So if you're gonna play the cancer card against glyphosate, you better be an anti-camping vegetarian who doesn't drink coffee and has never had their hair done and has never worked a nine to five job, or you're edging into just being a hypocritical jag. And finally, let's talk cost. Okay, back to the napkin math here with some Walmart pricing. You're gonna spend about 7.75 American to make a gallon of mediocre natural weed killer. A gallon of far more effective and by the numbers less toxic Roundup mixture is gonna run you about a buck 83. The homemade stuff costs 4.25 times more than Roundup. But I get it, Roundup is big egg. You never see big vinegar or big dish soap pushing their chemical free chemicals, so fine. You're allowed to hate big companies. I, I don't like them much either, but let's not pretend that we're taking some logical moral high road here. If you wanna kill Roundup to spite the nose off of big faceless multinational companies, fine. But don't pretend you're altruistically trying to rid the world of things that cause cancer. Be honest with yourself.